Um, the Chinaman, had you seen much of him before the before today? Uh, no, uh, we had a little bit of footage leading in, as we did with a couple of the guys who were potentially making their debut in this game. So, no, it was probably the um, first time we'd, we'd had a look at him and um, he's obviously got four wickets on debut and bowled pretty well. So when you say a little bit of footage, is it like someone with a Super 8 under a tree? Or... <laughs> No, it was a, and I think it was a, it might have been a local 2020 game, or um, and there wasn't much of it. So yeah, we were, we, we weren't going in completely blind, but yeah, like I said, there wasn't a lot for us to, to have a look at prior. And can you pick him out of his hand? Uh, I didn't pick the first one. Didn't pick, pick that first wrong one, but um, I was a little bit better. Um, I'm not going to say I'm 100% certain because I might miss one in the second innings as well. But um, I just said to the guys to keep looking for his leg spinner and then you'll hopefully notice that there is something a little bit different, which was what I was trying to do. Can you pick... Uh, sorry, can you pick George? Okay. Yeah, Hoggy. Um, yeah, I, I think it's one of these things that, like I said, I missed the first one. Um, but I think I, I was okay after that. It's just the more you get to look at it, um, the, the more, not comfortable, but the better idea you've got of, of sort of what's coming down at you. So, and because I've faced Hoggy for a long, long time, um, so I feel comfortable um, picking him, I guess. But yeah, like I said, missed the first one, but felt a bit better after that. Um, it's it's a tricky one. Um, no one's really mastered it yet over these two days. It's um, it's tough going. It's it's hard to score on, uh, particularly with sort of in out fields, um, and your boundary options are quite limited. So you know you're going to have to face a lot of balls. But we we expected that coming into this test. It's um, it's probably just the inconsistencies around the bounce and the spin. Some do, some don't. Some bounce a bit more than others. Some keep a bit low. So um, it's just. Try to game plan, keep my game plan pretty simple, play as straight as I could and, and bat for as long as I could. Did you have your heart in your mouth that first ball? Yep. Um, yep. So I knew that that was probably the plan to try and hit my pad first ball and that's what we've been training for for the last two weeks to try and avoid that situation. So um, a little bit of heart in mouth, but um, you sort of look up to the change rooms to see Mitch Marsh was up there and he sort of sat down again pretty quickly after when the review came, so I felt a little bit better after that. Um, is it, um, with you guys in this, this match, this series, and you know, potentially whatever, you know, Tour of India next year is in the back of a few people's mind as well, is it going to be a bit of a process over a number of innings to, to, get, it, to get it right, I suppose, in terms of you know, decision making and what, what people do, ball to ball, out where? Yeah, I think it's, um, I think it's about having plans. Uh, against each bowler and, and just sticking to those plans and trusting those plans. Um, spoke a bit about that tonight, that some guys didn't quite work for them today, but they've got to trust those plans that that's what's going to work for them. So uh, for me, it's going to be different for the other guys. But um, yeah, look, it, it will be. The more experience we get in these conditions, the more we can fine tune those plans and, and feel more uh, confident about them. As a batting group, were you disappointed on the whole today? Or was it well, I think we felt that we were probably one or two partnerships or those couple of partnerships that did get going, making them bigger. And if we'd done that, then probably we've got 100 run plus lead and, and feeling like we're driving the game. So a uh, little bit of a missed opportunity today, I think. Um, some good starts, but we know in these conditions that we want to be getting bigger scores and bigger partnerships. Do you feel you've got the upper hand depending on the Oh yeah, we've got a good lead and we've got one wicket, one second innings wicket. So, um, and like I said, no one's really mastered this wicket with the bat yet. So, tomorrow morning's going to be a very crucial session. I think so was, part of the, was part of the plan, the skipper trying to assert his authority on you know, their best ball. Yeah, oh, look, you, you'll have to ask Smudge that, but um, he. he we, we talk about taking risks early to try and spread the field and then um, and getting one. So, um, yeah, look, he, he tried to take that risk early. It comes off, looks great. It didn't come off today. Doesn't create a little bit of sort of, um, you know, nervousness in the, in the sheds when that happened so early on the day? No, not really. No. 
like I said, if he hits that over the top and then all of a sudden the field spreads a bit and he can knock ones around, then that's, that's how he wanted to get into his innings. You said you were trying to give some advice to new batsmen coming in, um, especially against the China. How much do you think that is your role now as a senior? Oh, I think it's anyone's role, uh, the, the batsman who's in. He's the one that's been out there and, and spending time in the middle and, and, and facing what's going on. So I think communication, not only batting, but in bowling as well, um, and, and giving the guys the best understanding about what's going on. And, and that's been crucial, and I think it's something that we've done reasonably well, this group of players. Um, but we need to continue to do it in terms of um, getting better and playing better in these conditions. Adam, how did the week compared to uh, Dominic last year when you got the, the 100? Um, good question. Uh, yeah, reasonably similar. Um, obviously, we had a bit more of a spin threat this game than um, in terms of facing more spin than what we did in Dominica. But um, uh, yeah, the wicket was pretty similar. Maybe this one skids on a little bit more or... Um, on occasions, it skids on a bit more than what Dominica did, but not too dissimilar. Last one, guys. You mentioned the lack of footage around the Chinamen. I mean, how rare is that to have such a footage of a player these days, given the amount of televised cricket or even live streaming? I'd imagine there'd be quite a, quite a backlog of footage from most cricket. Yeah, I guess so. Um, but for me personally, at the end of the day, I can watch all the footage in the world, but nothing really replicates facing someone out in the middle. So you can have an idea, but until you get out there and face the music, then um, then th that's the best that's the best prep. Hey, you've spoken so much about the Chinaman. How do you feel like the hell of going on this Facing him as well. Yeah, he um, he just. He doesn't miss his areas, does he? He's canny, he changes his pace, mixes it well. He's, he doesn't spin it. or well, there, there hasn't been a great deal of spin there for him, but he's been very economical. He's taken four wickets. Um, and we always knew going into this series that he'd be their main threat. So um, I think we can play him better than what we did today. And so that I'm sure we'll be looking to do, try and do that moving forward.